My life has definitely been a difficult one, but also interesting. I am blessed with a big heart, and I never ever give up. I used to hang around the street selling things on a market, but now I've become someone that most Zambians know and look up to. I was born into a very poor family, and I didn't go to school, but I always wanted to change my life, and boxing has given me that opportunity. This is the story of Esther Piddy. Fighting at super featherweight, Esther made her professional boxing debut in 2005. She struggled in her early career and considered quitting the sport after drawing her first fight and losing the next three. But after gaining her first victory in 2006, Esther never looked back and today she's Zambia's most popular and successful sportswoman. In her career to date, Esther has won two continental belts and two world titles. Her success in the ring has led to lucrative endorsement deals and Piri now has cult status in Zambia, where she's the most famous woman in the country. Esther's journey to Zambian sporting superstardom began at Africa Directions in the country's capital, Lusaka. Africa Directions is a non-governmental organization based in the poorest part of the city, offering sports facilities and medical advice to the region's children. <laughs> Esther attended the youth center every day and showed promise in the physical exercise class. One of the youth workers at the center took her to a local boxing coach, where she began to learn the basics. Her story of success serves as a huge inspiration to the children attending the center now. When Esther decided that she wanted to box full-time, she was initially criticized by many of her family and friends who saw the sport as inappropriate for a woman. My friends used to laugh at me when I told them that I wanted to be a boxer. They thought that I would never make it in the ring and believed that the sport would change me and turn me crazy. You get mad all those things. <laughs> Her decision to follow boxing as a career has enabled Esther to live an extremely comfortable life. Oh, yeah. Esther, from an impoverished family, grew up selling chicken, vegetables and clothes in a Lusaka market. In a country that has few sporting heroes, Esther's success has been embraced by the government, who have given her a house in an upmarket area on the outskirts of Lusaka. She's also sponsored by National Milling, the biggest producer of Mealy Meal, the country's staple food product. Esther, who missed out on a formal education, worked on the market for much of her childhood. However, in her youth, she was also a huge fan of the sweet science and would do whatever she could to watch big fights on television. When I was growing up, we didn't have a television. So the only way I could watch boxing was at a neighbor's house. At that time, I really liked to watch Zambia and Anthony Mwamba fight. I also loved watching Mike Tyson. In fact, for a while, I used to only date men that looked like him. But more than becoming infatuated with the fighters, I fell in love with boxing itself. Then I thought, if I like it so much, why shouldn't I do it? What about me? After showing promise at Africa Directions, Esther was taken to meet her hero, Anthony Mwamba, at his boxing stable Exodus. Mwamba was himself a famous boxer in Zambia. As an amateur, he competed at the 1988 Olympics, where he reached the quarterfinals. After retiring, Mwamba built a successful camp of boxers and had trained numerous national and continental champions. However, until he was introduced to Esther, he'd never trained a female fighter. When Esther first came to me, I asked her why she wasn't yet married and inquired after her family. I wanted to find out how serious she was. At the time, she was selling chicken and second-hand clothes at the market and her life was difficult. I only wanted serious people training here, so I asked her how serious she was and she told me she would do anything to make it to the top. 
Esther completes the same training routine as the male boxers she shares the gym with, and she often gets ready for a big fight by enduring countless sessions of sparring with men much heavier than herself. When she started with Anthony Mwamba, Esther was the only female boxer at Exodus. However, since her success and rise to fame, countless other females have now followed her into the ring, and boxing has become a more acceptable choice for women to pursue as a career. Because of Esther, there are now lots of women wanting to box. In Lusaka, there are at least 15 women who are taking boxing very seriously and trying to make a living from it. All because of the success of Esther Piri. They have seen her success and want to achieve everything that she has. She has made it so popular. Zambia is one of Africa's most urbanized countries, with the majority of the 12 million population living in built-up areas. In Lusaka, the downtown area of the city is home to hundreds of market tradesmen and women who earn a living selling anything from food and drinks to car parts. Markets like these are where Esther spent the majority of her younger life. As a result, her popularity amongst market tradespeople is huge. The reaction that people have towards me is fantastic. But it's hard to deal with sometimes, because I need to always be polite. I always remind myself that not too long ago, I was also working at the market. I was someone who didn't have a lot of money. And this is one reason why I think the people like me so much. That's why they call me the people's champion. When we filmed with Esther, the attention from well-wishers became too much and she had to stop at the police station in Soweto Market to get a police escort to avoid a crash. As Esther made her way back to the hotel in which she was staying during her training camp, the crowd of adoring fans continued to get larger and larger. It really does feel great that people care about me so much. But it can be scary. Because of safety, I don't go to Soweto Market alone, and I usually need a police escort because the confusion becomes too much. So far, Esther has boxed solely in Africa, something she's hoping to change in the near future. Her performances have brought her to the attention of American promoters, and talks are underway about potential title bouts across the Atlantic. <laughs> Esther's journey to success is one that will surely inspire other women around the world. Whatever she achieves in the rest of her career, Esther Piri can say that boxing truly did change her life. The most important thing for me is to remain disciplined. If I stay focused, I think I can achieve anything. I have a fantastic coach and I'm working hard because boxing has given me everything. I'm a different person now and I need to stay true to myself to continue my success, which I'm very confident of doing.